Welcome back to Sturge Tropia. This is Sturge playing Mickey Hennessy in RuneScape 3. Today I will finish up the Heidi Hole series with the 11 master level locations and items included in each and the requirements, specific requirements for each of those Heidi Holes including the, uh, the cost of some items as well as the, the quest requirements and location requirements to get into each. Keep in mind, 88 construction is required for the construction of each of the Heidi Holes, though you can boost your construction to get to 88, as long as it's a visible boost. The most time-consuming items in the list of things you will need for these Heidi Holes are definitely the Fire Cape, which obviously you'll have to go through the, the fight caves multiple times, and the Asylum Surgeon's Ring, uh, again, very, very challenging. And then the enhanced Yak Twee stick. We have to co collect a thousand charm sprites to get to the enhanced Yak Twee stick form. Those are very time consuming the Fire Cape, the Yak Twee stick, and the Asylum Surgeon's Ring. So keep that in mind before you start this if you want to do them all together like I've done. Uh, those will take a considerable amount of time to accomplish. Uh, unless you're really, really great at this then. So 110 uh, nails. Uh, I'm using rune nails. I think steel nails will work. I'm using 44 protium planks because you need four per each. Uh, so that's uh, that makes it easy. They all fit in the inventory. And then gold leaf, with the, which is not cheap. 140,000 coins. And you're going to need 11 of those to finish all 11 hidey holes. And here I have an inventory full of the things that I will need to do each of the hidey holes. The first six I'm ready to go right here at the entrance to the Tsar City. Also, I'm going to use an augmented hammer, the Hammertron, to see if I get any experience for building each of the hidey holes with my Hammertron. I doubt that I will, but it's always worth checking to see if, uh, if any experience will apply to the Hammertron while building the hidey holes. Now that we have all the basic information, let's get started. Once in the Tsar City, you will see this range icon on the mini-map. It's the Sulfur Pit. Is just to the north and west of the entrance. This is where you're going to come, and you're just going to come around that loop and come right here to the sulfur pit, and the hidey hole is right here. The items you will need to fill this hidey hole are the fire cape, the Tokketzil, which is the obsidian shield, and the spork, which you get from the Colonoromancer's chest after completing three sub-quests for the spork. I just say complete all of Recipe for Disaster, and you're going to be just fine because then you can obtain all the items you need to to do these particular hidey holes. So let's fill this here, or at least construct this first. 2,500 experience points there. That's 48 of 58. We've got 10 more to go. Like I said, uh, let's check and see. Hammertron, no experience. That's a bummer. Oh, well, it's always worth checking to see if you're going to get any experience for that. Uh, if, if the question were to ever arise, you, you know the answer. No, you don't get any experience for your Hamatron building hidey hole. So let's add our fire cape, our obsidian shield, and our spork to this hidey hole. And we will complete that. And uh, now let's move on to the next one. For the ease of finding this, we're going to start at the Gnome Stronghold entrance. And we're going to go to the south and west down to where you uh, capture charm sprites by the cracked dolmen you can see here on the mini map. This is just a quick run. I wanted to show you this so that you you wouldn't uh, struggle to find this particular hidey hole location. So there's the cracked dolmen. If you just come just a tiny bit down to the south there, here we see the hidey hole rock. The items you will need are the enhanced yak twee stick, which requires 72 uh, hunter and the collection of a thousand charm sprites. Uh, and the conversion to that, stick the Dagenhai hat from the completion of the hunt of for Surak, and the uh, Amulet of Ranging you can get from Aquanites or the Grand Exchange. 160,000 for the Amulet of Ranging and 770,000 for the Dagenhai hat currently. If you don't have those, those are the items you're going to need to fill this particular hidey hole. So let's build it. There we go. 49 of 58 complete. And let's add our... Dagon High Hat, Yuck, Enhanced Yaktwee Stick, and the Amulet of Ranging to this one. And that's the completion of that hidey hole. Let's move on. I'm here at the Port Serum Docks next to Quartermaster Gully. And I'm going to travel with him to the island of Waiko, the uh, 
you will need to have completed impressing the locals and the com full completion of Recipe for Disaster to do this hidey hole. It is right here on the docks. Right after you, you come in, you'll see the hidey hole barrel is just there. You'll need the Culinaromancer's Gloves 10. That's the completion of Recipe for Disaster. That's how you get those. Very important. That's a long, long quest as well. The Infinity Boots, you can purchase those from the Grand Exchange or you can craft them using pizzazz points a lot of work there and then uh, the dark bow also a very important thing then we take a look at the, the value of these wow yeah it's, uh, 24 mil here yeah 22 mil for the boots and and 360,000 for the dark bow so yeah not inexpensive for this particular uh for this particular hidey hole so there we go let's build this uh let's build this hidey hole and uh we'll add our wonderful things to this there's 2,500 experience there. Sadly, no experience for my Hammertron. And we add our items to the hidey hole. That's great. That's finished. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, here we are at the Mauritania Slayer Tower. The only requirements for this particular hidey hole are Plague's End. And so you can get to the Slayer Tower, which everybody should be able to get to by now. And 91 Thieving to pickpocket uh, elves. Things you will need are the Impied Hood, which you can craft. The Privnian Musician's Robe Top, which you need 91 Thieving for to pickpocket elves. And the Amulet of Magic. That's the, uh, the most difficult one, that Amulet of Magic, I tell you. Anyway, yeah, those are the items you're going to need to complete this particular audio. Let's go inside the Slayer Tower and get this one wrapped up. This is a quick and easy one. Once you get in inside you just turn around and it's right here this is the crate you're going to need uh, just come over here and build on this hidey hole and that will be 51 of 58 hidey holes complete that was super easy right and we'll add our our impied hood prove the in musician's robe top and amulet of magic to complete that particular hidey hole so easy Okay, here I am at the entrance to Port Phasmatis. You can see the Ectophuntus in the background. And uh, you're going to need to have completed Underground Pass for the uh, Iben Staff and the Curse, the Curse of Zeros mini quest for the Ghostly Robe set. And uh, I have Black Boater here. That's, uh, that's incorrect. I realized when I was the making of this video, you actually need a cavalier. It doesn't really matter what color of cavalier, nor does it matter what color of boater you have. But in this particular instance, I screwed up and I was thinking the cavalier and the boater looked the same, but I was wrong. Anyway, go, go right in here to the green ghost inn and you will see there's a barrel here. This is the one you're going to convert to the hidey hole. And then I'll go get the cavalier and get this rigged out. That's 52 of 58 complete. And I realize I have a black boater instead of a cavalier. So let me get the other. Okay, I went and got the uh, the Cavalier, and it doesn't matter which Cavalier you get at all, so don't worry about that. Cavalier 1.5 mil, you buy that on the Grand Exchange. Doesn't matter at all. Got the Cavalier, wasn't a boater. Just remember that. So it's Ivan Staff, Ghostly Cape, and the uh, Ghostly Cloak, sorry, and the any Cavalier will do here. And so we'll add those, and that completes this one. Let's move on to the next one. Here we are at the Grand Library of Menaphos. In Menaphos, only requirements here are partial completion of the Jack of Spades, Broken Home, the three subquests for the Asylum Surgeon's Ring, and Diamond in the Rough for the Scarabus Mask from the Scarabus Tomb, right here by the bank chest. Uh, well, you see uh, here the Asylum Surgeon's Ring. Remember, this takes a lot of work to get. You have to complete the Broken Home quest subquest after uh in under 37 minutes i did it in 32 last night uh, and i was pleased with that after about seven runs and then of course like i said the scarabus mask which comes from the scarabus tomb it's kind of a hidden thing after the completion of diamond in the rough but right behind me here is this little planter and this plant pot is the hidey hole the chest is off to the bank chest is off to the left and then the entrance to the grand library is right there and we will just go over here and build this one that's 53 of 58 hidey holes built almost to the end here and now we're going to add our asylum surgeon's ring and our scarabus mask to this one and that completes the Menaphos hidey hole with only five hidey holes remaining to fill to build and complete all right let's get moving Next up, we are at the Invention Guild, and you will need 69 Invention, 
you haven't unlocked invention, you'll need 80 crafting, 80 divination, and 80 smithing to unlock divination, and then get it to 69 invention. And you also may need 75 magic to wield the Staff of Light, but I think you may be able to just do it without. But at this particular point, I'm guessing you probably have 75 magic if you're doing Master Level Clues and their hidey hole. So let's go inside. This is a really easy one. Just come right inside over here by this little well. There is the barrel that you will need to use to construct the hidey hole. And you will need the lab coat top, which requires 69 inventions to create. Same with the lab coat bottoms and then the staff of light. So we'll just build this particular uh, deal. Uh, let's see, staff of lights, two plus million coins. That's not too bad. If you need to buy that, uh, you can buy it from the grand exchange for a couple mil. Yeah, and then the lab coat uh, top and lab coat bottoms. There we go. That's uh, 54 of 58 complete. Staff of Light, uh, Lab Coat Top, and Lab Coat Bottom. That one's all complete. Let's move on to the next one. Next up, we're going to Dragon Tooth Island. And if you haven't been there before, here from Port pa Phasmatis, you're going to go to the Ghost Captain, go through his dialogue, and he will take you to Dragon Tooth Island. If you've gone there before, you just right-click and hit Travel. And then we're going to run over. Ooh, there's a penguin. I'm going to have to come back and get that guy later. All right, so you will need 67 Dungeoneering to unlock this dungeon. And once inside, go over here and travel right onto the inside. Once inside, you should be f oriented facing north. And you're just going to click here to the south and the west a little bit. And come run down, and you should see right there, there's a hidey hole rock. The items you will need for this hidey hole are the Dragon Rider Amulet, Dragon Defender, and a Dragon Mask. The Dragon Rider Amulet comes from completion of One of a Kind, and the Dragon Defender comes from the Warrior's Guild. And treasure trails for the, uh, the Dragon Mask. Any color mask will do. Mithril Dragon Mask was cheap, 900k, so I bought that and used that. I don't think I ever acquired... No, I have acquired a few from... Uh, from uh, treasure trails so let's use these items we'll put them in the hidey hole first let's construct it that's 55 of 58 hidey holes complete dragon rider amulet dragon defender and dragon mask now we are done and we're going to move on to the next one next up the most challenging one of them all right here at the fishing shop in lumbridge i know it's going to be tough. There we need the Legends Cape, which of course is acquired from the Legends Quest. And uh, this time we're really going to use a boater, not a cavalier. Yes, any color boater will do. And then of course the uh, demon gloves, which can be acquired from Calgarian demons that spawn from time to time around Galenor. Uh, so there, those are the items you're going to need. The boater, the demon gloves, and the legend's cape. Just come right inside, and there's a barrel right inside the fishing shop here. That's a tough one. We'll build that. That's 56 of 58. Looking good, sliding good, building fast. And we're actually going to add a boater this time, I swear. Not a cavalier. <laughs> that was kind of a fun little mistake I made. All right, let's add those to the, uh, the hidey hole, and let's get on to the next one. Here we are at the Heffen area in Privenus, in front of the Statue of Saren. We, uh, first time I did this, <laughs> I actually uh, ran up here by the bank chests and clicked on the agility course and ran the entire course. So I had to redo it. But you can just right-click, walk, and come up here to the uh, planter pot, which is the hidey hole. Requirements here are Plague's End to get into Privenus, 77 Agility to use the Agility course here, and then that gives you the Privnathen Worker's Trousers. The Berserker Ring can be dropped by Dagonoth Rex or you acquired on the GE, and the Ancient Staff comes from the Desert Treasure quest. So those are all available to you. Uh, I think the... Uh, the staff you can't buy, but you can buy the Berserker Ring without any problem. You can't buy the Worker's Trousers. you got to use the Agility Course to get that. And 370,000 coins. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can actually buy the Ancient Staff. I always forget about that, but that's good. So these are the items you need to fill this particular hidey hole. I say we construct this, and that 57 of 58. One more remaining. Nice. So let's add our, uh, our items. And uh, that one is complete. Let's move on to the last hidey hole. Okay, here we are 
at the destroyed Edgeville Monastery. Uh, it's destroyed after a few quests, but it's all right. This it may not look like this for you. Probably will, actually. If you're getting to this point, it looks like this for you. Uh, blown up cabbages, smoking, uh, smoking ground, that kind of stuff. But here we are. We're going to need the Holy Scythra, which is acquired from one piercing note, and then several requirements after for that Sarah Doman's Murmur which is collected from Commander Zeliana or in the general, the Grand Exchange, and then the Ring of Devotion, which you can make at level four crafting. And right here is the hidey hole, this barrel. Pretty straightforward, not like hidden like the others. Actually, none of the others were hidden. I'm just kidding. That's 58 of 58 hidey holes built. That's so refreshing and so nice to have completed as well. And let's add our items, the Sithra, the Ceridomans Murmur, and the Ring of Devotion. And upon doing so, we will get the achievement, fill them all. Gosh, that's a great thing to have. Have it nice to have them all complete. And that is all 11 master hidey holes filled built oh man what a what a great reward now we're ready to do some master clues all right well that completes this series of the hidey hole construction and all the requirements and all of the items to fill everything from the easy medium hard there are no elites and then the master clue scroll hidey holes all done all in a few videos seven videos it took to do all of that so it's really been a long journey it took me a more than a year to acquire a couple of those items probably because i just didn't dedicate the time to it but i appreciate everyone for watching all the subscriptions all of the likes the dislikes and all of the comments means a lot to me it helps me keep going on the runescape content and i think next up we should do master clue scroll caskets as well as uh Twenty, uh, sort of a 2021 guide to clue scrolls and their rewards and the amount of money that you're gonna you could possibly make so thank you all for watching this series i appreciate you all and ciao for now